Linogrammer is a pen-centric medium for creating diagrams. Shapes including polygons, lines, and formatted text can all be drawn fluidly without artificially changing modes either through the graphical interface or by a stylus button. Command gestures such as scratching out can also be entered seamlessly. In addition, users can switch interchangeably between interacting with the diagram at the level of primitive shapes or as collections of lines. This duality enables a variety of diagramming strategies, including the constructive scribble drawing technique being shown. Users learn about gestures and drawing strategies through a familiar toolbar metaphor. Instead of executing a function, the gesture bar indicates how to accomplish a goal with a training area that can supply nuanced feedback. Snapping tolerances are based on drawing speed. Here lines are snapped to the principal axes. An alternate can be chosen by tapping the dotted line and reverted with an undo gesture. Lines snap to the nearest orientation of neighboring lines. Often, when an intended snapping operation is missed, simply redrawing the missing segment will suffice. A construction line is created when any edge is selected. These lines are also considered during snapping operations. To disambiguate between text and drawing elements, we consider size, speed, and nearby context. The final T is recognized because the second stroke was drawn without delay. Recognition of small loops is delayed to allow subsequent strokes to disambiguate between circles and O's or zeros. The typeset text gesture can be used to coerce text that has been misrecognized as a diagram element back into being text. Here the vertical line is coerced into a 1. Cursive text can also be input, as well as some schematic elements, such as arrows. A floating toolbar appears above selected drawing elements. Dragging from the duplicate button creates multiple copies of an object. The number of copies can then be adjusted. A sharply tailed lasso selects multiple objects. A transformation nail is created with a flick. Dragging with firm pressure snaps the cursor to the rotation or scaling constraint guides. Switching to lighter pressure allows the cursor to move freely. A compound widget is created for selected vertices. The inner circle does conventional rubber banding. The outer square does rubber stretching, which is a useful alternative to scaling. With rubber stretching, line orientation is preserved. A double hitch gesture, which is recognized as it is being drawn, transitions to a zoom rectangle. Inverting the direction of the double hitch zooms back out. The editing history of the diagram can be reviewed with an undo gesture that transitions into an interactive slider. Higher level editing functions can be performed with a ruler. Here the ruler is aligned with half a shape. Selecting the symmetry option from the marking menu mirrors the shape across the ruler. Locking the mirror mode allows interactive line mirroring and symmetric editing. Rulers can also be used to align shapes. After selecting the alignment menu option, two handles are added to the ruler. The shape grabbing handle sticks the shape edges or midpoints. This allows shape bottoms, tops, and centers to be pushed or pulled for fine adjustment in one operation. Repositioning the ruler allows different alignment options. Alternatively, shapes can be aligned one at a time. Tapping or drawing along widgets added to each shape aligns that feature with the ruler. The vertex grabbing handle sticks to vertices and allows shapes to be modified.